So just a real quick brief uh, reiteration. Uh, we have the conscious mind down here. This is the mind that the, your 3D physical body uses within the physical. There's only one level within this, within the conscious mind, one level. It's only one realm, the, the 3D, you know, physical realm. Within the subconscious mind, there's different realms, you know, the emotional, astral, lower astral, upper astral, and mental. You know, your, the emotions are right next to the physical. So that's the closest level of mind that you can you can experience. So that's why we feel emotions. That's why we call them feelings, because we can feel them. You know, our, our thoughts are a little less perceptive, perceptible. So, you know, they're a little further away. That's why it's harder to perceive them than it is feelings. Um, or unless you're somebody like me who has, um, you know, an Aquarian moon and a Taurus sun. So you more think your emotions more than you feel them. So, <laughs> but that's something I have to work on. But I still feel my emotions, you know, easier than I feel my my thoughts. You know, we don't feel our thoughts really. Sometimes you can if you're perceptive enough. It's not as easy as your emotions. Anyways, this is in the fourth dimension that your soul uses. Soul is the fourth dimensional body. The fourth dimension is time. So there is no limit on time here. So that's why you can go into past, and you're, when you're dreaming, you can experience, uh, you know, past life experiences. You can go into past life. I had, I had a friend once when I first moved uh, here to Louisville, and he, every single night, his dreams always started with the same past life experience, every single time. So we, you know, talked about it and uh, shared, you know, some insight on that. Um, but anyway, anyways, the fifth, or the superconscious mind is the mind that the spirit uses, which is your fifth dimensional body, and the fifth dimension is space. So there is no limit on space. Why, you know, it's cosmic, highest point is cosmic consciousness. You know, like the, I shared this, I, I like to reiterate it every time. The, in the physical, these two sides seem separate. You know, you got the left side and the right side, completely separate. You know, so the, we all feel like we're completely separate, male and female, completely separate. You know, um, we all feel like we're separate. But the deeper into the mind we go, the closer we can tell we're connected, you know, in the subconscious mind, these lines are a lot closer than out here. So through our subconscious intuitive ability, we can feel a little more connected, you know, finishing each other's thoughts or thinking of someone and they send you a text, you know, that's your, your intuition uh, going on because it's, there's a stronger connection there. You're more aware of your connection with other people. And then superconscious mind, if you go all the way out here to cosmic consciousness, you can see that there, there is no difference between the left and the right. It's all one. You know, this is, this is, it's connected. Left and the right are connected. You know, so it's all one. So the separation is actually an illusion. Anyways, uh, you, you know, I go deeper into that in the previous video. I won't, I just want to reiterate. 